Today I'm going to show you how to bend text using Pixlr X. Pixlr X is a free image editing software that I use to create all my thumbnails. There's a link in the description so let's fire it up and get right to it. My name is Michael Fire Jr. This channel is all about tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber. If that's something you're into, you're going to want to subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you know when we have new content coming out. Adobe Photoshop is probably the standard bearer for creating thumbnails. Now, I create my thumbnails using Pixlr X, and it works almost just like Photoshop. The difference is, it's a web application that I can use for absolutely free. One of the easiest things to do in Photoshop is to bend text, like you see here. It's not quite as easy in Pixlr X, but I'm going to show you how to do it today. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the Pixlr website, click on Pixlr X, then we're going to go to Create New. I'm going to select Instagram because it's a nice square box. In the top right, you can put the name you want your image to have. And you can select whether you want it to have a background or not and select the background color. Mine's not going to have a background, so I'm going to leave this unselected and click Create. The next thing I want to do is select the Paint Tool. Then I'm going to select the shapes and I'm going to choose a square. I'm going to select the color of that square and then I'm going to just drag it across the entire image so we can add a little bit of color to the background temporarily. Then I'm going to click these three dots here and name my temporary background, temporary background. Now I'm going to select the circle tool. I'm going to uncheck fill and I'm going to check outline. I'm going to set the size of my outline and select the color that I want, in this case white. Then I'm going to draw a circle in here. This is basically going to be a template or a guide for bending our text. Now I'm going to get started adding our text. So I select the text tool. Underneath text I'm going to put my first letter in there. In this case I'm going to spell bend text. So let's start with a B. Then I'm going to click font. I'm going to run down and select Daddy Day as the font I want to use. You can see there's so many fonts here and you can add your own. There's just so much that you can do with the text tool in Pixlr X now. Once I have my font set, I'm going to change the text size. Now the plan is to have the text go around the top of the circle, so I have to have it big enough so it'll go all the way around, but not too big so that the letters are cramping each other. So I settled on 260. Now we're going to add some outlines. So I click this on and then I select black as the color I want my outline to be. I'm going to turn the size down a little bit here. Now I'm going to add some drop shadow and we're going to be able to play with this as we move our text around the arc. I'm going to turn the blur to zero and the opacity to 100%. Then I'm going to adjust my shadow. The look I'm going for is as if the light source is at the top of the page and I'm going to have to adjust each individual letter to kind of give it that look. Once I have the outline and the drop shadow set up, I'm going to select the crosshairs tool here and I'm just going to rotate this 90 degrees and I'm going to drag it over to the left side of our circle and get it lined up where I want it. And I'm going to go back in here and adjust the shadow the way I want it. Once I have the outline and the shadow the way I want it, I'm going to go over here and click on the three dots next to our letter, drop that down and select duplicate. Then in text, I'm going to change the letter. The next one is E. Then I'm going to move the letter around and put it in the right place along our little circle guide here. After that, I'll adjust my drop shadow accordingly. Once I have the E set up properly exactly where I want it, I'm going to go click on the three dots and drop that down again and duplicate this. Then I go in and change the text on the left hand side here from E to N. Move this letter around to adjust its location and rotation using this little circle at the top. Once I have it in place, I'm going to adjust the drop shadow again. Now you may ask yourself, why is he duplicating the letters instead of just creating another letter? The main reason for doing this is because the sizes on everything are exactly the same when you duplicate them. So when I move it around, I really only have to just tweak the drop shadow. If I was just going to create a new text element every time I did this, then I would have to recreate the location of the drop shadow and go into all the sizes and everything else. So it's a lot quicker when you duplicate it. I follow the exact same process of duplication and lining things up around the circle and adjusting the drop shadow for all the letters. And then once I get all the letters in, it's easy to just adjust everything once again to make sure that it all looks right. I do realize this is a bit more work than it would take for you to do it in Photoshop, but you also have to remember there's no monthly fee. 
Pixlr X is completely free. Once you have everything exactly how you want it, go ahead and hide the background layer and the circle layer. Then you click the three dots next to any of the letters and you click Merge Visible. This puts all the letters together in one layer. Once you do this, you can resize this layer, you can move it around any way you want. All your letters are all together in one spot. The last thing you can do is go ahead and save this. So just click save down here at the bottom, select PNG so it's sure to save out the transparency in the background. Make sure you have it named correctly and then click download. Once you click download, you're done. It's going to automatically download to whatever location you have the default set to in your web browser. And that's it. Now you can just drag and drop it onto another composition to add bent text elements to any thumbnail or anything you're working on. If you're interested in learning how to remove the background from an image in Pixlr, you should check this video out right here. And if tools, tips, and tricks are something you're into, you definitely want to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss what we have coming up next. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next 